You're worried about the dry weather affecting the fall foliage. There's some conflicting reports, but apparently all hope may not be lost, according to uh, one local expert. I like this. According to Yankee Magazine's fall foliage forecast, Connecticut's forests will get some color change, but it won't be what exactly what we're used to. So we have our own meteorologist, Connor Lewis, here to explain how the weather will play a role in one of New England's most cherished spectacles. Connor. Steph, Mark, there's a lot of forces at play that will affect the timing and the color of the leaves. The bottom line with the experts I spoke to earlier, they are predicting a brief, bright, and a little delayed onset with the colors this season. So it should be looking good, just won't be for that long of a period. As the drought was going on, of course, the leaves are drying out. And as that is occurring, the red pigments are getting stuck in that leaf. So it is trapping the sugars that cause those bright red colors. Although during this process, the leaves will decay faster than usual. So the duration of these bright reds we're expecting will be brief, short. However, an extended drought and excess stress on the trees can cause the leaves to turn brown and skip a color change altogether. This is actually already happening in some urban centers like Boston. If the fall is too warm and too dry, that could lead to a worst case scenario. I think if we start to see too much warm air, too little rain, uh, the leaves are gonna start to brown. They'll die off before those reds can really develop. Uh, the underlying pigments are gonna die as fast as the, the green and we'll just kind of see a really muted display. And no matter how the weather plays out for the remainder of the summer and the fall, the foliage forecast for northern New England will be normal, while ours in southern New England will likely be adjusted. I'm live in Rocky Hill, Connor Lewis, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.